And these elements are the atoms that constitute molecules that many chemists and biochemists and geochemists, chemists all over, study. These are some examples of the type of reaction called an electron transfer reaction. In these particular examples, I have to remember which is the, the uh, clearly this is the wrong thing. Oh yeah, there's the thing. I pressed the button. This is the one, yeah. yeah. No, no, that one, that's right. Where's the green, red light? Oh, it's all right, okay. As you see, I'm a slow learner, so I hope you'll be patient. Um, now, in these particular reactions that I show here are examples of the simple, there are many, many reactions in chemistry, huge number, countless almost. But these are the simplest reactions in all of chemistry. Because in these particular reactions that I've written down, and these are just examples of the main idea. In these particular reactions that I've written down, uh, is there a red light here? Can't see it. Um, an electron is transferred from one ion to the other. I have in my bag a little green, uh, um, uh, a little green, a, uh, it's a silver uh, fly, uh, light that has a green uh, laser. You know, children, when they're very small, have baby blankets, which are sort of, they're very comforted with. And I have this laser pointer, which is green, that I feel very comfortable with. So with your permission, I'll use it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now, here's an example of one of the simplest reactions all the chemistry you've ever taken. In this reaction, an electron on this uh, molecule in water jumps from it to there. So you see in the products, the charge, the, uh, that extra electron is now on the other reaction. And similarly here and similarly here. There are many such reactions. And this type of reaction was especially studied after the Second World War. Because these asterisks that you see here, like there, an asterisk, that represents a radioactive magnesium atom. And many chemists, one of, the, one of their main activities of a certain group of them, was to use radioactive atoms as tracers to study the sequence of steps that occur in a complex chemical reaction. But they are also used in this simple chemical reaction. So these are called isotopic exchange reactions. But what's changing is not the isotope, but the electron. And so now the electron, which was formerly in this type of ion, a manganate ion, has now appeared in the other type of ion, which is a permanganate. And the chemists found ways of separating the two kinds of ions, and they could see the accumulation of that radioactivity in the second type of ion, and they can measure the reaction rate that way. So th these are examples, three of hundreds of examples, of the simplest type of reaction in all of chemistry. Only an electron is transferred. In most reactions of chemistry, bonds are broken and new ones are formed. It's really pretty complicated. But in this type of reaction, just an electron is transferred. Now, of course, that's a very limited reaction. On the other hand, because of its simplicity, it offered, at the time, it offered the possibility of going into the mechanism of what's actually happening in far more detail than was possible with the usual kind of chemical reaction, which involved the breaking and forming of bonds. And so, in 1952, there was already much experimental, many experimental results on the, these kinds of reactions, and there was a symposium. I wasn't at that symposium. I knew nothing about it then. 